Hello, another concept from the fourth chapter of McConnell. This one is externalities. We're going to define an externality here as a cost or benefit of a market transaction that's borne by a third party. You have the buyer, you have the seller, and they're not bearing or exchanging all of the cost here. Someone else who's not a party to the transaction is bearing some of it. Externalities can be either negative or positive. A negative externality example that we'll talk about mostly here is something like pollution or maybe secondhand smoke. A positive externality, an example we'll also talk about in a moment, might be something like a beekeeper next to an orchard. I'm going to take a moment here and erase and give you an example, um, uh, develop the example of pollution as an externality uh, a little bit more extensively. I'm going to draw again. If you've seen the, um, my drawing, you know that that's kind of not one of my strong suits, but suppose we have a river and a factory sitting right by the river, okay? This factory has a pipe that's spewing pollution right into the river, okay? It's untreated. You can imagine it being maybe a paper factory. And as you know, paper is paper making is a pretty water intensive process. So imagine taking the bleach and the ink and all the other chemicals that are used to process paper and this factory dumping that stuff right into the river untreated. The paper factory itself is going to produce paper and we'll be supplying it out there into the into the, the market. So imagine that the demanders and the suppliers get together and the market price for paper is two dollars a ream. Well, that's the price that's determined so far. There are a lot of people living next to the river, both sides downstream. And if this water gets dumped into this river untreated, these folks are also going to be bearing some of the costs of this production process. There's going to be a smell that's probably going to be quite unpleasant. Uh, the water is going to look kind of disgusting. The wildlife, the fish and frogs and other things that live in and around the river aren't going to really be able to do so. It's, going to, it's not going to be safe to swim in. It's not going to be safe to, to fish in. It's probably going to be dangerous to be around. So these folks down here who might be neither buying nor selling the paper, be not part of the production process at all, are bearing some of the costs they bear a negative externality. They bear a cost of this production process, this market transaction, without being either a buyer or a seller. Right? They're the third party who bear that cost. Part of the reason that we intervene in markets like this, markets that have negative externalities that we've been talking about, is to protect those third parties, to make the buyer and the seller in the transaction bear all of the costs of the market transaction. And in the case of something like pollution, this particular negative externality, we have agencies like the Environmental Protection Agency that intervenes, makes this factory install equipment that cleans this water before it comes back into the environment, before it comes back into the stream. So these people don't bear the cost here. These folks do, the factory, the suppliers. The price of the paper might not be $2 anymore. It might be a little bit higher. But that price then captures all of the costs of production, not just the ones that, that uh, the factory decides, the seller decides it should, should bear. Back to externalities, and now we'll talk about an example of a positive externality, where there's a benefit that someone earns or gets without actually it being part of the market transaction. Imagine that on this side of the road, we've got an apple orchard, my lovely trees and, and grass growing. On the other side of the road, we have uh, someone who's involved with keeping bees. They take their hives out and, and rent the bees, basically, for times to go and pollinate. These guys don't pay for these guys' services, but when the beekeeper is home on his own property, these bees are going to give a benefit to the folks on the other side of the road, the folks who own the apple orchard, even if they don't pay for that. The mere existence of a set of bees over here, you know, hives that live in this particular area, are going to be a benefit to these guys, even if these guys never pay for that. They enjoy a positive externality. They enjoy a benefit of this person being in the market of renting out their bees for various pollination trips without ever actually having to pay for it themselves. 
We worry about intervening when there's a negative externality, like our pollution example before. We don't really worry so much about intervening in the case of a positive externality, because these guys get a benefit from these folks without any harm involved at all.